Well, here we are again at Bristol Shipwrights, and uh, we're getting somewhere now. We've got the strip planking on this 43-footer all the way to the shear except the very last plank, and uh, we've got a few things to do up top. We want to mark the shear onto the outside of the frames with a batten. We're going to steal those marks off the mold. So they're three feet apart. We're going to stretch a batten through the molds and mark the height of the frame heads on every frame head. Some of them are already done. And uh, what we're going to do then is take a deck timber pattern and we're going to put it across the boat and strike a line on the frame heads where they're to be cut off. Now we're not going to cut them off right away. What we're going to do is we're going to cross ball the boat as we take the molds out later on and the cross balls will be nailed or fastened off to that very top rib end which is maybe six or eight inches above the shear of the boat. So it just doesn't clash all together. It's a very easy thing to do. We left the frame heads that high on purpose so we could do that. And uh, what we've got going on right now is uh, Ken quite some time ago actually made a deck timber pattern right here out of some nice plywood. and. Uh, you know, it's got that methodology right on here of how you do a deck timber pattern that we took out of uh, Chappelle's book on boat building. So, you know, it's not a radius. It's a parabolic curve. The center of it's got a little bit more curve than the very ends do. And uh, what we've done then was we copied it onto another piece because we didn't want to alter this. And uh, what we've done is we've cut another one. We're actually going to be using the very bottom of the thing in order to mock the frame head. So that's what we had to do. And uh, we're going to save this because we want to keep this in good shape, this particular pattern that we've originally made for setting brackets for when we're bending our uh, deck timbers and different things. We're going to laminate some deck timbers. So this is going to be required. So we made another one. And uh, this is the one we're going to take up top and use to mock our frame heads with. And uh, the only other thing I can say to you is, uh, you know, I cut it out with a bandsaw, but then had to tune it up with a, with a plane a little bit to get to the line. And uh, this method that I've used many, many years is the simplest thing in the world to plane up to a line with. I've got my block plane laying on the bench on its side, and uh, it's very easy to control, and you can see the line, and you can plane it to the line. So I've done that, and we've tuned this piece up really nice, and now it's time to take it up top and, and do its duty. Well, now I'm up at the shear here, and uh, like I said, we're going to mock all the frame heads to be cut off. Now, we're not going to cut the frame heads off right away. We're just going to mock them for cutting, and uh, we're going to take advantage of this uh, longitudinal uh, stringer that we've got on the frame heads right here. This is where we're going to do our cross balling, right up here, all the way across, uh, to be able to take the molds out and not lose the shape of the boat. So uh, before we do that, though, we just want to get these frame heads mocked right on the shear, exactly right, and we'll be cutting them off later on. So what we've done is we made a temporary deck timber up here, and uh, it's, it's just a pattern of the deck timbers. We're going to be using the bottom side of it, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, on the mark here, I'm going to clamp a little piece of wood on the mark on the very outboard side of the frame here where we mark the shear on the frames. And then I'm going to take my deck timber pattern and I'm going to put it on top of that little block. Now I'm going to get down low because I'm going to adjust this little block, the angle of it like that. You see, I can move it back and forth all over the place, but what I want it to do is lay against the bottom side of the deck timber. Now, I can use the deck timber like a little hammer and drive it down to the mark like that. Check it again. Looks very good right there. And then I'm gonna take a pen because a pencil doesn't work very good on the plastic and mark the frame head just like that. Now, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, yeah, so let me check mine and I'll make a mark and then I'm gonna hand you the pen. Okay, so we're good right here. There's my mark. Yeah, I'm gonna come over your way. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna coordinate this block on the mark that's on the very edge of the frame outboard like that, and just tighten it down a little bit like that, and Ken's got his on the other side. Now, it's not very tight, it's kind of loose, so I can move that block around a little bit. 
And now we're gonna take our deck timber pattern, set it on top of the block. We're out a couple inches, that's perfect. Now we just get down where we can see our marks. All right, that's perfect, right there. All right, so now, this one has actually already been done, but <clears throat> we're checking it to see how close it came out. Oh, look at that, it's right on the other line, so just right. And we mark it on the other side. We're gonna move our pattern to the next slot. Oh yeah, baby. There you go. There we go. All right. Just like that. That's perfect. Okay. So there we go again. So as we do this, we're just putting a little block on our mark on the frame, and then we're setting our deck timber pattern on top of the block, and the deck timber pattern are kind of adjust the block to the right angle. Then we just move the deck timber pattern out of the way and make a quick mark on the side of the frame like that. And that's the way that's done. So we have every frame head to do from one end of the boat to the other. So we got 42 frame heads, I guess, on each side to go, so we better get at it. So now the whole idea of this is to just get our shear plank in position here. And right now we're just temporarily clamping it up in position. We don't, we haven't glued it on or done anything like that, but we're gonna use a couple of clamps here the whole idea of this is to get that mark that we made on the frame heads on to the outside of the plank. These are the marks that we made on the frame heads with our deck timber pattern and that little block of wood laid alongside of it, and those are perfectly accurate. And what we want to do is transfer this mark on that same angle onto the outside of the plank out here, because that's what's necessary for us to cut the plank to exactly the right shape. And we may put the plank on and cut it right in place, or we might mark it and cut it first and then put it on, but either one way or the other, we've got to transfer that mark on the outside, and we've got two different methods. One is this little gauge that we've made here. It's just got like a little apple aperture cut out of it right here to uh, get, reach over the top of the plank. And we'll just lay this part against the line and slide it up against the plank on the outside and I'll make a mark right underneath it right here on the outside of the plank. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the gauge and put it in position and Ken's gonna line it up with the mark. It's gonna slide to you, Ken, like that. Right there. Right there. And I got my pencil, my trusty pencil, and I'm making a mark on the shear plank right outside there. So that's it, just like that. Now we're gonna go right across, and we're gonna do it to every one of them, obviously, but uh, maybe we can do this one too. Okay, and I'm making a mark right here. That's it. Now that works pretty good, so basically we're gonna make a series of marks, one every foot at every frame, connect the lines together on the outside with a batten and draw a line, and uh, we can cut the shear plank right to shape. So uh, we're actually gonna, once we get the clamp into it, down in here, uh, bolted on, eventually we'll cut the frame heads off, and uh, we'll cut them just a hair, maybe, above the line. We're gonna connect up all these lines on the inside, and cut them off just barely above that line. And then we're gonna take an electric plane and trim them right down to the line perfect because we want the frame heads right up to the deck, button right up to the bottom of the deck. Now, you know, it's not a structural thing, but you know, when you're inside a boat like this and you look up at the frame heads and they're not touching the deck, I don't know, it just doesn't look very good. No. So, uh, you know, we're trying to make a professional effort out of it and uh, we're going through these extra little steps here just to make it look nice and neat. So I've just shown you two methods of transferring that line on the frame that we made with the deck timber pattern onto the outside. One was we used a little mock and gauge and I put a pencil mock on the outside and the other one we drilled a hole right alongside the frame head, alongside that mock. And it came out perfect, it came out just barely underneath that pencil mock and that's the idea because when we put a nail in there like that, 
the top of the wire, the very top of the wire of the nail is on the line. That's exactly what we want, accuracy. Now we're just gonna hook the tape measure on the nail, and this is uh, metric tape on this side here, because when we divide this run, we're gonna use a metric system because it's much easier to divide. And we need a place to hang the tape so we're not gonna be up here all the time. And now uh, we'll stretch it down, we'll measure between this line and our magic line and do our divisions and it uh, just makes everything easy. Well, let me just say a few more things about this process right here. We've got, uh, I think, 82 frame heads to mock like this on this angle exactly right like that, and we're not gonna compromise at all. We're gonna make sure that they're right on the money, and then once we get the mocks on the outside, we'll be able to connect up each one of these mocks with a line on this shear plank, and either cut the shear plank right now, or cut it later in place after we fasten it on, or whatever, however we decide to do it. But. Uh, but uh, you know the accuracy is the thing that we're after right here, and the ease of doing it too. So everything's worked out for us pretty well. I love the frame head sticking up. I love this rib end on the very top like this to put our cross balls or, uh, across to, uh, and that's really gonna be a positive thing. And then uh, we'll get all the deck timbers in place and everything before we even cut these frame heads off. And we're gonna cut them off with a multi-tool, one of those uh, vibrating multi-tools from the inside. So whether the plank's in the way or not, it won't matter. We'll be able to cut them right off. And we'll probably cut them off, hey, maybe a sixteenth of an inch above the line or something like that because we can take an electric plane and dub the top of the shear plank as well as the top of the frames because the electric plane, it dubs the frames, it dubs this plastic very, very nicely. So there's nothing gonna be any kind of a problem here. It's very easy to go about it. and. Uh, we're getting it done and we're getting it done right.